welcome back to our channel and welcome to today's video. I'm Heather and I'm Cheryl and we're Canvas and Peach Studios and we specialise in newborn and wedding photography. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and that means that you won't miss any of our future uploads. If you don't already, please give us a like on Facebook and Instagram to keep up with us daily. Today we'll be trying on some bridesmaid dresses from ASOS. I'll be trying on a size 14 and Cheryl will be trying on a size 16. Please don't judge our lockdown bellies. We may have been overindulging a little bit during this lockdown season. All the dresses will be in the description box below for you to go check out. One thing guys that you need to bear in mind with buying from ASOS is making sure that all the girls are there to try on the dresses as soon as possible. ASOS dresses actually go out of stock quite a lot because they are so popular and the sizes that tend to go out are the popular sizes. So just make sure that you're organising a wee night with the girls to come in, try on all the dresses and make sure everyone has the right size and then that means that you can send back the dresses straight away and it just saves all that palaver. What you don't want to happen is what happened to me and that's the drama of having to send back a dress, they don't accept it because it's too late and then obviously then after that I had to go into Facebook Marketplace and try to find a dress that matched our dresses managed to find one luckily enough and managed to find it in the right size and luckily enough I saved some money on it too but I did lose out with the return of the previous dress so just make sure you're staying ahead of the game and planning what you're going to do. We really hope that you enjoy this video as much as we are going to enjoy making it. Please be kind and let's ace us into the video! Woo! <laughs> so the first dress that I'm trying on is by Mia Deluxe and it is a size 16. It's like a kind of creamy, pastel-y kind of colour. I absolutely love the sequins. I think that's going to be dead flattering for my arms because it hides them and then at the waist it's quite floaty as well. So I can't wait to try this one on. And this wee dress is £90 but I feel like that's completely justified considering how many sequins and details and how nice the material is down the bottom as well. My first dress, I absolutely love this one. It feels so nice. As like a curvy girl, I would say this really like pulls on my wee waist and then flows out in the bits that I kind of want to hide that I'm not comfortable with. I feel like this would look absolutely beautiful with like a crazy bouquet. It's really quite quirky, but like so pretty with the tones. I absolutely love this. I want this dress, like I really want this dress. I want to get this dress for the studio. It's so pretty. I feel like I could twirl in it. It's just, it's just amazing. <laughs> I feel like I would say yes to the dress in this one. Yes, 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 worth all the money. Get this bridesmaid's dress, I want to photograph it. The first dress I'm trying on is a misguided dress, so that'll be interesting. And it's a size 14, it's sleeveless, low back, maxi dress in pink. It looks really beautiful. It's like fishtail, so I'm very excited to try this on. So this wee dress comes in at £50 and honestly with how heavy it is and how nice the material feels right now, I feel like that's totally worth every penny. But again, you just need to see how it goes when you try it on. So the first dress that I've got on is lovely. However, there's definitely a few wee bits that are annoying. So I'll start with the most kind of like obvious one. So <laughs> they've obviously got a wee stitch here. Um, now, maybe if you would be wearing a bra, that would be a lot better. Um, it's very figure hugging. So anyone who is self-conscious about their belly, etc., <laughs> they might not love this dress. Um, I do have seamless pants on, which works quite well because you can't really see much. Um, now, the only problem I would say for a bridesmaid's dress is it's major, <laughs> major side boob. Um, but, you know, some people would like that. <laughs> and then the back is just lovely. I love the back. I love the train. Um, I just feel like I just want to keep spinning in it, which is nice. But bottom half, I would say, is a nice. But the top half, I just feel like if this was stitched, which you could probably get done, would be a, a bit more nicer. And then once you wear a bra or um, like wee sticky cups or something like that, um, that would kind of sort this dress out. And I do feel like 
with your kind of dresses if you were saving quite a bit of money and getting a really beautiful dress that you love then you could take it to the alterations and get those little things fixed and that would take a dress that looks like 50 pounds right up to like over 100 pounds and be in line with kind of the more premium bridesmaids dresses just to get some like alterations done to kind of fix that area so dress number one done so my next dress is an ASOS dress now I'm so curious to see how this is going to look on because there's quite a few elements to it that are a wee bit different you've got the racer top neckline that goes really high up you've got a backless bit at the back and then you've also got this kind of like it's like it drapes over your tummy so i think this could be really flattering mm. on this is a size 16 that i got and i would say the color is like a sky blue maybe like baby blue it's really nice we've actually photographed a wedding with this color before and it was absolutely stunning this wee dress comes in at 70 pounds and i don't know i'll need to see it on before i justify the price so this is the last dress and this is the worst dress out of the entire lot I hate this I absolutely hate this I don't like this I, I don't understand I think this would be nicer maybe on a skinnier person I don't know but for me it just accentuates my hips um, and it, it goes tight at the belly but then this doesn't cover it and then oh I just feel so uncomfortable and then the other thing that's really annoying about this is the button up thing that I said earlier is like a complete and utter nightmare if you're gonna get this dress it's gonna be stressful buttoning it up at the last minute when you're trying to button up the bride and it's not really about the bridesmaids it's more about the bride so I feel like this dress just kind of it's just it's just not nice I just don't like it I just hate this dress I hate it I've never hated a dress more than this dress, but the colour's nice. I feel like that's the only thing I like. The next dress that I'm trying on is by TFNC. So they are a really popular brand. It is a size 14. It doesn't actually like have a description on it, but it is a cowl neck. You'll see that there. And it's got a lovely wee satin bow at the back. Cheryl actually had bridesmaids dresses just like these and they were absolutely beautiful. So I'm pretty sure this will be gorgeous. And it's £65 in price. And honestly, if it's anything like Cheryl's dresses, they were so worth it because they were just so beautiful. So this wee dress is lovely. I just love the colour. It's absolutely gorgeous. The cowl neck is so flattering. Um, and obviously the wee belt. Now, again, I did get my dress altered for Cheryl's wedding. And it was for the kind of same reason, like the way the material's kind of going all streaky down here. And uh, I just got mine took in at the sides um, a wee bit to kind of take that away and make it a wee bit more like fitted. But I think this is really good because you like you can get dresses like this altered quite easily. Um, and then if you didn't want it altered, you've kind of got that room after dinner. Like, I mean, look at that. You're not going to feel restricted or anything after dinner. And one of our kind of favourite poses to do when dresses have a bit of like detailing on the back is like all the bridesmaids like turn like all cuddled into each other or maybe holding their bouquets up in the air something along those lines so it can be really nice thinking about those pictures of what you want from your dresses so this next dress i am super excited about this is by tfnc and it's a midi dress but it's so floaty it feels beautiful the sleeves with the buttons are absolutely gorgeous i just cannot wait to try this one on and i think i might actually be heartbroken when i send it back but who knows i need to try it on but i think this is probably my favorite out of the whole lot so we'll need to wait and see <laughs> and this wee dress comes in at 70 pounds which i actually think for the heaviness and the quality of it so far I would say it's worth it. Okay, so I'm in my next dress. I absolutely love this dress. I feel like it is so flattering for my figure. It pulls me in again at the waist and then comes out nice and floaty. It's just absolutely beautiful. I feel like it's got like a really elegant kind of vibe. I think it would be so pretty with like crazy bouquets. I always say crazy bouquets, but I love crazy bouquets. Nice pastel colours. I just think it's so pretty and so elegant and for girls with bigger busts I feel like this 
would be really flattering because there's like there's lots of room a nice wee thing about this dress is when you tie it you can like tie it into your dress in here and then you tie it in here I know as a curvy girl when you're tying on dresses sometimes pulling that zip up is the most nerve-wracking thing so when you are putting this dress on it's quite nice because it's like putting a dressing gown on and it's just so fun to put on because it's dead easy and it just makes you feel like amazing I think and the quality is beautiful I knew this would be one of my favourite dresses um, and I would say for sure that this is up there with my top, my top two so far, which I've tried on, which <laughs> I love. So really pretty, and I would 100% get this for bridesmaids. So the next dress I'm trying on is a beautiful sky blue colour. I think Cheryl's got the other kind of style to this one. Um, it is by ASOS, and it's a rouged bodice maxi. I'm honestly not so sure about this. Um, the quality of it, it's quite thin, it's quite sheer, so you can... I don't know if you can see like my hands do that. I can see it on the camera. Um, so I'm a bit worried about that. I mean, for my body shape, I've got really big shoulders because I used to be a swimmer. And I feel like this style doesn't always do justice. <laughs> and the back of it is a crisscross, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm not saying it's not a gorgeous dress. It'll just be interesting to see how it looks. And this dress comes in at £75. Okay, so the wild card's actually turned out so beautiful. I'm surprised by this. Now, this would probably be perfect for a summer wedding. As I said already, it's very, very light. and um, It just feels so flowy, so comfortable. I just think the fit is gorgeous. Now, the ultimate, my ultimate enemy is Back Fat Betty. And she is no longer here in this dress with the way these are cut. So these are cut like kind of crisscrossed around the back um, and I just think that's very flattering for anyone that kind of has big lats or struggles with back fat or shoulder area or anything along those lines. <laughs> and then the front of it, now it is very deep cut for a bridesmaid's dress. Honestly, I think that you could, you could stitch that if your bridesmaid wasn't comfortable having that much on show. Personally, I... I honestly don't mind, I actually think it's really nice. I'm so surprised because when I felt the material, it really looked sheer and it didn't feel really nice, but actually on, um, I'm really loving it. So this is a definite yes for me. So I was really excited about this dress, but actually it's came and so far, I don't know, I'll need to see what it looks like on. I don't think you would get away with wearing a black bra under this or any kind of colour bra because it's so unbelievably see-through. This is a high neck dress and it's by Designed in London. It comes to the price of £85, which personally I feel like we have got so many other dresses that are cheaper than this in our haul today and I feel like this isn't living up to my my dream of what it would be we'll need to wait and see to try this one on because i'm just not sold right now okay so this is my next dress as you can see from here it is see-through i think you would need to wear nude pants not black pants because clearly you can see my entire buttocks um and also i would say for boobage kind of area you don't want to wear a bra because you can see that as well so what you would probably have to wear is like some kind of nude underlay underneath this and it would be quite nice i think the fit is beautiful the color is so pretty i think you could get away wearing this at christening or you could actually wear this dress after a wedding again and it's just so it's just so not bridesmaidy if that makes sense because obviously i just think it's quite quirky it is it is pretty it's just i'm just not sure about the see-throughness and i'm also not sure about the high neck for me I feel like right now I've got like 10 double chins, so it's just accentuating that. However, I do think this is a nice dress and I wouldn't bash it. I would just say for how much you spend on it, which is like £85, I feel like the quality isn't up to scratch. I feel like this is something you could get a new look, not on ASOS at £85. I would pay this like £30 for like a night out dress, but I wouldn't pay £85 for this, I don't think. It is beautiful pretty i just think you need something underneath it and the price just doesn't match okay so the next dress that i have got is actually a multi-weight wrap dress 
No, <laughs> you can have a load <laughs> of fun with these dresses. And the great thing is, is they tend to do loads of different body shapes. So that is brilliant. Now the dress is £55. The material is lovely. It's nice and thick. Doesn't seem sheer or anything along those lines. For me, it's just, we've seen so many bridesmaids trying a multi and not knowing their shape before the wedding day. So then they spend an extra 15 minutes trying to get the dress looking good or they're stressed trying to get it on and it doesn't look the same as when they've had it before. So a really important factor is if you do go for these dresses is to make sure you consider that. Another wee thing I want to mention is they, it comes with some suggestion shapes, which is great. And then also the colour on the label says lavender fog. On the ASOS website it says grey and I can assure you it's not grey, it's definitely much more of a lavender shade. So just keep that in mind if you are going to try this one on. This one is the multi-way. First way I've done it is just nice and simple. Up, over the shoulders, cross them and then tie them round the front. Tie the kind of long with a bit of material um, and then back round to my waist at the back. Now, the dress is flattering, like it's nice on the body shape. It's double lined at the bottom, which is great. Obviously this is only single lines, so you can definitely see um, some things. So you maybe need to wear like some covers or something like that. For me personally, the price that you pay for these dresses and this is kind of the end result at the back. Personally, I think that looks unfinished. Like I can tell that that's just the material from the dress rather than it being like a nice bow or it's all just like like tucked in and I did try that already tucking it all in um, <laughs> and it just looks a bit like I don't know it just at that section it just looks unfinished which is the rest of it it's nice and flattering it's not see-through and I really do think obviously the amazing thing about these is you can change them per bridesmaid what I would say though in the morning I mentioned that earlier is it might be better having someone put the each bridesmaid in their dress rather than you trying to do it because like what's annoying is I can't see if this is even. Now I know that not a lot wouldn't annoy everyone but it definitely would annoy me like if my straps weren't even or if they weren't twisted the right way. But overall honestly like it's, it's a lovely dress, it's a really nice fit, it's a gorgeous colour, it's definitely lavender, it's not grey. This is one of the last looks that I'm going to do because I've literally spent about I don't know what feels like half an hour doing all these different looks super stressful. I went for across the shoulder which doesn't look too bad. I just feel like this boob is very risque. This one's nice and secure. If only you could get like a one padded bra that would be great. <laughs> Jenna was just telling me that she's seen Bridesmaid's dresses before that comes with like a kind of band here and I do think that that would be very helpful with different styles as well as like it is risky <laughs> when you're trying to do different shapes with it. They are great, like they're just so um, like versatile, but yeah, I feel like this one is missing the wee kind of band section of it. And I feel like what's my problem most likely is I'm a bit of a perfectionist. So if you're a perfectionist, I guarantee you won't like these dresses. <laughs> but if you're kind of looking for something that suits loads of different body shapes and you've got hundreds of bridesmaids, then this is probably going to be a winner for you because they can do loads of different styles as you've just seen. Next wee dress is a TFNC. You can see that they're really popular dresses for ASOS to sell and I would highly recommend them anyway. As we said before, I used them for my wedding day. But this wee one has lace sleeves, which I think are so pretty. It is then a flowy maxi dress. The dress also has a backless back and the price comes in at £70. I think I'll need to see this one on. I'm not sure how this would suit every body shape out there. It could be pretty, it could not, but for now, I'm not judging. I'm just gonna wait and see. <laughs> so guys, this is my last dress, and I would say we finished on just a nice wee cute one. Um, the lace on this is lovely. It really, like, it feels nice. What I would say about this dress, however, is Go up a size and then at least you can alter it when you come into your alterations later on. But with the lace, I would say for sure that that feels like that couldn't go any like more stretch. I don't think, I don't know how bigger busted girls would do this because I've actually got like quite small boobs and this is quite tight for me. 
and that's a size 16 and all the other dresses that I've tried on today have been a size 16 and they've all been quite loose fitted so it may be something to do with the dress it's got a really nice under layer underneath it it's really pretty and floaty again I wouldn't use black pants I don't know why I wore these today <laughs> but I would definitely wear like nude pants underneath it you could potentially get away as well with not wearing a bra because you've got the cover up here and it's quite loose so again it's quite nice and then I just think the back's really flattening for anyone that's got like back fat or anything that kind of pulls that in and hides that area, which is dead good. So I feel like overall this dress is really nice, it's really cute and I would be happy to wear this as a bridesmaid and it's really, really pretty and pink. The last dress I'm trying on is another misguided dress. Now it's navy in colour and it's a barrett dress so it's got the wee arm pockets at the side. It is full maxi and it does have a wee fishtail. Now, this dress was £30, so an absolute bargain. However, <laughs> it clearly comes with the quality. So it's the back that's mainly... Hello! <laughs> you can see my face through that. <laughs> the front, not so much, which is pretty good because that's double lined. So you can't really see anything through that. So, we've got my last dress. Uh, I actually really love this. However... It is a wee bit see-through and I don't think that's on the size, like the restrictionist of it. I think that's just because it's single lined. This bit here is double lined, um, so that's not see-through. It's quite see-through, kind of like on the legs, the kind of bum area. It's got a lovely big chain on it, which is beautiful. Obviously it's like strapless, but it comes up high enough that you can wear a bra and then across the front. Now it was only £30 and I just think for £30 you could take this and get another lining put in it. Yeah, I just absolutely love this dress. Just the price of it as well. It's just how see-through it is and if that would be an issue. But I love the material. Obviously, it's a very bodycon shape, so you are going to see your belly. I don't mind that, so it's like, obviously after dinner, you're going to have a bigger belly because you're bloated, but who cares? Like, all pictures are before then, so. <laughs> I just love the color, I love the feel. You just need to sort out how see-through it potentially could be on the bottom half. Remember girls, if you are trying on the dresses and you feel self-conscious in them or not comfortable, then make sure to tell the bride as much as it's her day, you don't want to be standing feeling awful in the dress throughout the entire day and uncomfortable um, and always make sure that you have that honest conversation with her however if you just don't like the dress because it's really not your style and you feel like you look like an idiot in it or you might not look nice in it and um, purely because you just don't like the dress then remember it's the bride's day it's the bride's choice and at the end of the day you have to kind of go by her rules that's what she's imagined so just be nice, be kind, and be thoughtful in what you're saying. If you're a little bit worried about a friend, a cousin, a sister who might be a little bit self-conscious about her body or anything along those lines, then it could be a great idea to invite her over to your house and get the dresses then and let her try them on herself without like an audience. I know what it feels like if there's an audience looking at you and you're feeling a little bit self-conscious, it's not the most ideal. So you could do that, give each, each person like a time slot rather than having that pressure of the whole group. And please don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That just lets us know that you've enjoyed it and we'll keep making videos like this. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. Bye. 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 <laughs> I'm getting to the Scott position. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Heather. I'm your cat with the studios. I just like, is, this, is this we specialise? <laughs> right, it's a squatting malarkey. I'm like, I don't understand this right.
um, and it's like in a kind of what would you say colour this is? It's a it's a <laughs> I should be able to tie something together with that. <laughs> Hello! Look at my face through this sheer dress! <laughs> Is that the Nascaisy one? Yeah, that's the £30 one, so... Damn it! I don't know. It's so hard doing this! 